안녕하세요. 하나하나 한국어입니다. 자, in this video, let's study 서강 한국어 2A, chapter 4, 사과. 2호선을 타면 인사동에 갈수 있어요? 자, in this chapter, we're going to learn 4, 4 grammar points and 3 dialogues. One reading and one listening. First grammar point 갑시다. 음연. What does it mean if we put this connective ending here at the end of the first clause and then you go main clause. This is main clause. This is um, adverbial clause. And especially it means condition. 자 우리 그림 봅시다. Dialogue. 친구를 만나러 시청 앞에 가야 해요. In order to meet friend, I have to go where? 시청 앞에. In front of the city hall. 어떻게 가야 해요? How should I go? 지하철을 타세요. Take the subway. 지하철을 타면 빨리 갈수 있어요. Main clause is this one, isn't it? If you take the subway, you can go quickly. Done? 자, 우리 연습합시다. 질문해 보세요. Please make questions. 1번. If you, you want to say, If I take a taxi, 빨리 갈수 있어요? Can I go quickly? 어떻게 말해요? 타다. Become 타다. Base form. Get rid of 타. 받침 없어요. 면 말해요. 음, 타면. 그래서 택시를 타면 빨리 갈수 있어요? B says, 아니요, 이 시간에는 지하철이 더 빨라요. No, at this hour, the subway is faster. 2번 갑시다. 회의가 일찍 끝나다. To uh, finish the meeting early. 같이 식사할까요? Shall we have meal together? So you want to say, if the meeting finishes early, shall we uh, eat together? 어떻게 말해요? We just changed the last bit, isn't it? 끝나다, get rid of 다, 받침 없어요, 면 말해요. 그래서 회의가 일찍 끝나면 같이 식사할까요? 네, 좋아요. Number three. 어, 돈이 생기다. 자, 생기다 뭡니까? Verb. 생기다. Something is created. To be created. So it's basically passive. To happen. Uh. 돈이 생기다. You got money somehow. 뭐 하고 싶어요? What do you want to do? So if you have money, what do you want to do? 어떻게 말해요? 돈이 생기면 음, 돈이 생기면 뭐 하고 싶어요? An answer, 여행을 가고 싶어요. I'd like to travel. 자, 이번에는 대답해 보세요. Please answer this time. 아, 언제 눈이 아파요? When do your eyes hurt? 언제 눈이 아파요? 오랫동안 책을 읽다. You want to say, they hurt if I read books for a long time. 어떻게 말해요? This time, uh, get rid of 다, 받침 있어요. We need 음연. 음연. 그래서 오랫동안 책을 읽으면 아파요. Simply. 음, 아파요. 자, 2번. 언제 옛날 친구가 보고 싶어요? When do you want to see? Do you want to meet an old friend? 자, this is another... Um, uh, Korean peculiarity. So, 옛날 친구, an old friend, supposed to be an object, isn't it? And indeed, we do say 옛날 친구를 보고 싶어요. We do say this. This is also correct. However, sometimes we use subject marker here. So, it is also correct because we use it. 언제 옛날 친구를 보고 싶어요? Or, 언제 옛날 친구가 보고 싶어요? But in this case, uh, these cases are quite rare, so you don't have to worry. You want to say, when I listen to uh, old music, I miss them, I miss my friend. Uh, 어떻게 말해요? Uh, this is irregular. 자, 
옛날 음악을 들으면 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 보고 싶어요. I'll just repeat the verb part. Naturally. Let's go to the next grammar point. Oh, we already learned this. 을까요? Or 을까요? Isn't it? When do we use it? First function. Shall we? Isn't it? Shall we? However, this is a second function. So we use it to predict or to guess. 아이고. Andy 씨가 전화를 안 받아요. 자, I said, 자, 전화를 받다 is a uh, expression, isn't it? To answer the phone. Andy doesn't answer the phone. 지금 어디에 있을까요? Where do you think he is now? Where is he now? But in a predicting way, in a guessing way. 글쎄요, 잘 모르겠어요. 글쎄요 means well, I don't know. So this 을까요? The second function입니다. 연습합시다. 질문해 보세요. Let's make uh, questions. 1번. 지금 버스를 타려고 해요. I'm about to take the bus. 으려고 하다 has some uh, different versions of interpretation. But here, uh, it's better to say be about to. 지금 버스를 타려고 해요. I'm about to take a bus. 이 시간에 교통이 복잡할까요? Do you think there will be a traffic jam this hour? 글쎄요, 잘 모르겠어요. Well, I don't know well. 자, 2번 갑시다. 중국어를 배우려고 해요. I'm planning to learn Chinese. Do you think studying Chinese is interesting? 어떻게 말해요? 을까요? 말해요. 중국어 공부가 재미있을까요? So simply get rid of 다 받침 있어요. 을까요? 말해요. Isn't it? 3번. 이번 주말에 등산 가려고 해요. And on this weekend, I'm about to go um, hiking. I'm planning to go hiking. 날씨가 좋다. You want to say, do you think the weather will be nice? 어떻게 말해요? 날씨가 좋을까요? 글쎄요. 잘 모르겠어요. Well, I don't know. 4번. 이번 주 금요일에 말하기 시험이 있어요. This week, on Friday, there is speaking exam. I've got a speaking exam. 시험이 어렵다. Do you think the exam will be difficult? 어떻게 말해요? Oh, this is irregular, isn't it? 자, 이렇게 말해요. 시험이 어려울까요? 말해요. Mm. Which applies to all p uh, irregular conjugation. 글쎄요, 잘 모르겠어요. Well, I don't know. 좋습니다. 자, second grammar point. 을 거예요. Again, this is the second function. 자, what is the fun first function? Future tense, isn't it? 을 거예요, future tense. This time, you will be also predicting. Predicting or Guessing. What is the difference between uh, 을 거예요 and the previous one, 을까요? Simply, this is a question and this is a statement. 자, how about the formal sentence ending? 뭡니까? Formal, 어떻게 말해요? 을, 리을, 겁니다 말해요. 자, 다이얼로그 볼까요? 버스가 언제쯤 올까요? Again, this is predicting. So we just learned it, isn't it, in the previous page. When do you think the bus will come? 10분쯤 기다리면 버스가 올 거예요. I think, I guess, the bus will come if we wait for about 10 minutes. 자, 기다리면, we have if here. And base form 뭡니까? 기다리다 있죠? Mm, to wait. 자, 우리 exercise 갑시다. Please answer. 대답해 보세요. 1번. 미나 씨한테 주려고 꽃을 샀어요. I bought, this is the main clause, isn't it? I bought uh, flowers in order to give, in order to give to Mina. This is the indirect object. 미나 씨가 꽃을 좋아할까요? Do you think she likes flowers? 네, 
아마 좋아할 거예요. 자, 아마 뭐예요? 아마 or 아마도 same meaning. Probably. Probably she will like it. 자, 2번 갑시다. 저 시계를 사고 싶어요. I want to buy that watch. 저 시계가 비쌀까요? Do you think that uh, watch is expensive? Mm, this is subject. You want to say, yes, probably it will be expensive. 어떻게 말해요? 네, 아마 비쌀 거예요 말해요. Conjugation itself is easy. The point here is on, to understand uh, the nuance of uh, this grammar point. 3번, 이리나 씨가 지금 도서관에 있을까요? Do you think Irina is at the library now? You want to say, 네, yes, probably she will be at the uh, library. 어떻게 말해요? 네, 아마 있을 거예요. 거예요. Or you can uh, add, 도서관에 있을 거예요. Or if you don't want to repeat it, 네, 아마 거기에 있을 거예요. Yeah, probably she will be there. 거기, there. 4번, 앤디 씨가 아침에 일찍 일어날까요? Do you think Andy will get up early in the morning? You want to say, no, probably he will get up late in the morning. 어떻게 말해요? 아마 아침에, 자, late 뭡니까? 늦게, adverb. 아, 늦게 일어날 거예요. 5번. 요즘 호주 날씨가 추울까요? Do you think the, um, the weather in Australia is cold? 아니요. 아마, you want to say, no, probably it will be warm as predicting. 어떻게 말해요? 아마. 자, 우리 이거 씁시다. 따뜻하다. 아니요, 아마. 따뜻할 거예요. 아마 따뜻할 거예요. Done. 좋습니다. 자, next grammar point 갑시다. 다가 is very, very important and we use it quite frequently. Catch the nuance in this dialogue. 보세요. Andy says, 학교에 어떻게 오세요? How do you come to school? And he says what? 버스로 오다가 지하철로 갈아타요. I come by bus and then I transfer to the subway. Actually, you can say, 버스로 와서 지하철로 갈아타요. 괜찮아요. But why does he choose 다가 here? Because it emphasizes the transition of your behavior, sudden change of your action. 자, 우리 연습 한번 해볼까요? 그림 카드를 이용해서 말해 보세요. Please try speaking uh, by using the picture card. 자, 우리 두 개, 1 번, 2 번. Let's connect these two. 자, 공부하다가 TV를 봐요. What does it mean? I was studying and then suddenly I changed my behavior and watch TV. 우리 이렇게 이렇게 연결해 볼까요? 이렇게 이렇게. You are listening to music and then suddenly you fall asleep. 어떻게 말해요? 음악을 듣다가 자요. You just get rid of 다 and put 다가 there. And this emphasizes that sudden transition of your uh, behavior, sudden change of your behavior. 자, let's do these two. Let's do the final two. This one and this one. She's doing computer. 어, 우리 컴퓨터를 하다 말해요. 컴퓨터를 하다. So while I was doing computer, suddenly I take rest. 어떻게 말해요? 컴퓨터를 하다가, 어, 컴퓨터를 하다가 쉬어요. Okay? 자, this is all about nuance. For, uh, for better understanding of this uh, nuance, please read through uh, these example sentences. You might um, be able to grab a better understanding of this grammar point, okay? 좋습니다.